Hello, my name is Aaron from Pitsco Education. In this video, we'll continue our exploration of the Fable programming software by learning to use conditions. Conditions, sometimes called if statements, allow us to execute certain commands based on whether something is true or not. In this activity, we'll use conditions to control our robot using a keyboard. Starting with a new project, the first thing I'll do is go into the Logic tab and drag an IF block into the programming area. Then I'll go to the Census tab, choose a key pressed block, and connect it to the IF block, like this. For the parameter, I can choose a variety of things, like UP, for example. Next, I'll go to the Actions tab and take a Move block and connect it inside the IF block, like this. I need to select the module that I want to move, and I'll set it to move to 60 degrees on the X servo. The sequence I've created tells the robot to position itself to 60 degrees on the X servo when I push the up arrow key. To take this a step further, I'd like to program all the arrow keys to act as a remote control for the robot. To do this, I'll right-click the whole program to duplicate the entire code and I'll add the new blocks at the end of the first set of blocks. I need to change the parameter on the new key press block to down. I'll change the move block to negative 60 degrees on the X servo. To code the other arrows, I can right click again and choose to duplicate it again, and I'll add it to the end of my program. From here, I'll select left for when the left arrow key is pressed, and then set the move parameters to zero on the X servo and 60 degrees on the Y servo. I can right click to duplicate the if statement again and add it to my code a final time. This time, I'll set the condition for when the right arrow key is pressed and update my move parameter to negative 60 degrees on the Y servo. With this code, I've created a simple remote control. However, my code has a small problem. When I start the program, my code checks to see which key is pressed only one time before it stops. If I press the up, down, left, or right arrow on the keyboard, the program executes that command, but then it stops running. So, if I want to make the program continue to react to the arrow keys, then all I have to do is add a loop around the entire thing. From the loop tab, I'll drag a repeat while true block to the programming area and place it around my entire program. Now, my remote control should work. Let's give it a go. So in order for my robot movements to line up with my arrow keys for the video, I'm gonna rotate the robot 90 degrees. And then when I run my program, if I push the up arrow key, the robot moves forward. If I push the down arrow key, the robot moves back. Right, left. It looks like my code is working. Great. This concludes the third of our four Getting Started tutorials. You'll find the rest of our tutorial series at pitsco.com slash fable. 